from the News Channel 5 Network. This is Out and About Today. Sponsored by the Tennessee Performing Arts Center. Hello, I'm Chuck Long, and thanks for joining us on a special edition of Out and About Today. It's our annual look at TPAC's upcoming Broadway season, and it is going to be amazing. The 2022-23 Best of Broadway lineup features seven Nashville premieres and the return of Hamilton. Here with all the details, TPAC's president and CEO, Jennifer Turner. Great to see you in person. It's so good <laughs> to see you in person. It's uh, been a while. It has been, and more excited than ever about this upcoming season. So as you get ready to launch a season kind of what are the thoughts going through your head getting ready for that well we're we're just so excited I mean first of all we hope that our audiences really enjoy what we're gonna put forward um, there's also a certain excitement in bringing things new to Nashville and so the seven premieres we're really proud of that and then of course the returns I mean Hamilton was such a success right before the pandemic so I know there were a lot of people that didn't get a chance to see it so we're happy to have this return so close to the original viewing in Nashville and kind of what can people expect as far as getting back into the theater uh, now that you know I mean people are going back they're loving it so what's the expectation going into this season well things are starting to get more relaxed as we've um, progressed through this <laughs> long intermission as we like to call it so we're following the CDC guidelines we're guided by our health and safety partner HCA health TriStar and we're really looking at following whatever the most current protocols are are. So at this point, the shows in our theater have masks optional. We will obviously follow any guidelines that come to us from Broadway. We still have a lot of our protocols backstage. So you just go to TPAC Health to see um, the most current guidelines that would impact your show that you're attending. Okay, that sounds good. Um, there are uh, so many great shows that are coming up in this season. Uh, the first one that we're going to talk about, you were just mentioning, is Hamilton's. So, I mean, this is just, you know, one of the most phenomenal musicals in the history of, of Broadway. So, kind of tell us about this one coming. So, Hamilton, if you haven't had the chance to see it, it's the story of Alexander Hamilton and the founding of our country. Um, George Washington, uh, the King of England, even makes a wonderful appearance in it. Uh, Lin-Manuel Miranda um, is very well known for just putting together just an electrifying uh, uh, electrifying cast. Um, the story is incredible. It's fast paced. It's fast moving. And you get your dose of history while being entertained. So Hamilton is a can't miss. It lives up to all the hype. And that's that's exactly what I was about to say was now I just wanted to mention that starts July 26. So put that on your calendars. Um, Hamilton, when I, I saw it when it was at um, TPAC recently uh, earlier and it was like, can it live up to all the hype? And it does, and then some. I mean, I was just blown away. And I mean, going in there, people now know the soundtrack and they're singing along with every song. Um, what do you think caught on? I mean, what was the magic about Hamilton? I think it was different. I, I think that, you know, you have the rap, the, the different styles of music, the dancing. It was more contemporary, cutting edge. I think people really responded to that. And I also think they responded to the diversity, like that Lynn Manuel showed that you know diversity in casting is really successful and and people can see themselves up on stage in a performance environment I think that's really important and also with Hamilton I mean you just in Nashville especially the cast told me that they elevated their performance because the audiences were so responsive so I have no doubt that audiences will respond again in July and you'll see an electrifying performance well and there's to me this is the show when people say I want to go back again and again yes. and again. This is the one that you can just return to each time and get so much more, so I can hardly wait for that. Well, that's the magic of live theater. It's it's live and new every night, so you can go every single night, every day in a row, and see a different performance. So yes, you can. Enjoy. All right, so the play coming up this season, I think, is one of the most exciting plays to hit Nashville in ages. So much to talk about with To Kill a Mocking. Before we get into that, though, um, Richard Thomas 
yes. is the lead in this. And we were just talking about, you know, people are going, oh, I remember Richard Thomas, of course, from the Waltons, but now Ozark? Ozark. I mean, he was just amazing <laughs> in that. This is so exciting. It really is exciting. I mean, Jeff Daniel, I mean, it's hard, big shoes to fill, but, um, you know, the casting of Richard Thomas, I think, set a lot of excitement through the Broadway road, as we like to call it. And we're just, you know, this is an incredible play. It's not often that plays go out on the road, so this is one of the first to really make the rounds to all the cities, and it's simply wonderful. I, I, I had such an incredible experience when I saw it in New York. I cannot wait for it to come to Nashville. Well, let's take a little look at it right now. We were talking about Richard Thomas, so you can see him in action. This is a little bit of To Kill a Mockingbird. When I was a boy, I had my father gave me one of those air rifles an air rifle. He said I could shoot all the Blue Jays I want, probably knowing I'd never be able to hit one, but to always remember that it was a sin to kill a mockingbird. A sin, a crime against God. I asked him why, and he said it was because they were innocent. And I became a lawyer. And it's been called the most successful American play in Broadway history. Uh, and I think you can understand why. And based on a wonderful book, we're reading it in our TPAC staff book club. <laughs> so pick up the book, read it, familiarize yourself again with the story, and then watch that incredible um, play come to life on the stages in T at TPAC. Well, and I think with To Kill a Mockingbird, you've got such a classic novel, uh, probably one of the greatest novels of all time. Now you've got one of the greatest plays of all time, and you put it all together, and it just there's something that's timeless about it. And, and I think, you know, if you've read it earlier, maybe you saw the Broadway production, it's going to be so exciting to be able to see it right here in Nashville. Was it hard to get that here? Well, I will say that a lot of cities really wanted to get access to it coming right off the road. So we feel, let's just say we feel very fortunate that we were able to secure that. And I think that's a testament to the commitment that our subscribers and, and the audiences here has put into um, their investment in TPAC. And the producers <laughs> knew that it would be a great place to play. So glad. All right, we're taking a short break right now. But when we return, a preview of this year's Broadway Sensation 6 you're watching out about today. 